threads. Get out of the sky. What are you doing? Get out of there. <laughs> what is up, my minions? My name is Threads, and uh, doing a little quickly, uh, speeding things up right off the bat here, because it is on array. It is a big goddamn map, and, um, you know, I was going to miss my first tomahawk. If I don't miss my first tomahawk, it's just going to be a bad game. You all know that. Um, <laughs> today, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the state of the world. What is going on in this fucking world? What is going on in the this country? That I live in. A man eats another man's face. A college kid kills his roommate, eats his brain and heart. A woman eats her baby's dick off. A man sitting on a bus saws off the woman in front of him's head. What in the fuck is going on? Now, they're saying, you know, oh, it's just, you know, these bath salts that they're taking. Well, <clears throat> you know, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm not a, you know, I'm not one of these people that's like, oh, the government's trying to cover things up. But I watched the video of this, of this, like, Miami dude, and I read the police reports because it's, you know, the Freedom of Information Act. You can read anything you want online. And the cops said that this dude... With his eyes were like, you know, like all foggy, like he'd been like, I don't know, like like it's all glazed and foggy, like you couldn't really see his retinas. His veins were black. I mean, he is he was a black guy, so you know his veins were black though, and he was growling as he was gnawing on this dude's face. Now, <clears throat> you know, let's be let's be completely real about zombies i mean you know everyone's like oh you know i would totally you know you know, get my shotgun i'm gonna blow some zombies away let's be completely honest if the zombie apocalypse did happen we would all be fucked like there's really no there's really probably maybe i don't know a couple people that can literally say oh i could really hold my own and survive but in reality, every single one of you that's going to be like, you know, I, I would last a long time, you know, I'd fight off the zombies. You'd probably become zombie food pretty quickly. Um, and that leads me down to it. Like, what if, what if this is it? What if this is the start? What if the government created something that is going to, yeah, you're smart threads. We're running to the Claymore. What if this, the government created something and by accident... Or what if it's not an accident? What if they created something, manufactured this drug, you can't see air quotes, and now that they're releasing it to the public and it cha turns these people fucking crazy and makes them just nom on everybody around them, what if this, what if this is the start? Like, what if it turns, you know, what if the bite, you know, releases the toxins from the basalts into your body and then you then it multiplies and then you become infected that would be like and then now you have all these people not only are they running around nomming on people but they're cognitive like they can still kind of understand what they're doing like uh the kid who ate his roommate he like flat out told the police he didn't attack him he flat out told him you know i just killed my roommate and i nommed him like are you fucking kidding me so it leaves me for a couple of questions that I wanted to ask you, and I wanted to give my opinion. Um, if this were it, if this is the start, and if 2012 it literally is the year that the world ends because maybe it's the zombie apocalypse, maybe this whatever it is becomes you know contagious, how would you try to survive? Most of us aren't going to, let's be honest. How would you try? Now... I wanted to, what I want to do, it's, it's very heartbreaking because I couldn't stand the fact of my mother or my sister becoming in, like a zombie and like just trying to nom people. So, I mean, it sounds really weird, but I would probably peace out like real quick. I, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to, you know, try to protect them as much as I could, but ultimately I'm going to fail at trying to protect them. Either I'm going to get, you know, attacked or one of them's going to get attacked. And then it's going to come down to the point of, could I, you know, shoot them because they're infected? And I couldn't do that. So I'm thinking of, you know, my mom's pretty diesel. 
so she could probably hold on to her own. I think maybe, you know, it's a very touchy subject. Could you do this? Could you, could you leave your family behind because you know that you, you can't shoot them or you know that you can't stand to see the fact, the thought of them, you know, becoming one of these things. So I, I'm very on the fence of this because I really don't want, oh, bank fail. I'll just throw it right in his face. I don't want to see my mother or my sister become one of these things. So I don't know. I think, you know, I originally planned on, you know, you know, just have bugging out and be like, well, see you later, mom. Good luck. But I think I have my plan. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you're going to do. This is a pretty good question, I think. Let me know what you're going to do when the inevitable happens. You know, it's going to happen. I mean, it's probably not going to happen. I don't want to scare anybody. But um, make sure you read up on this because it is pretty fucking weird. And there's a couple more cases of like, people acting really weird and like being on these bath salts and getting naked and just fucking hurting themselves. Like this dude in Pittsburgh like just started fucking sawing his stomach open and throwing his intestines at people like what the fuck um (laughs) let me know what you think let me know how you would survive let me know what you would do i really think this is a good topic i hope that you guys uh become a little bit involved in this one i want to see some arguments in the uh in the comments below but um that is it for me 31 and 5 my name is threads and uh i throw shit peace